Right, this is Rob Chisholm again, and we're going to talk about the weather. A lot of people in my classes have been asking, how do I predict the weather? Well, I never go and watch the TV set with the weather person talking about how wet and windy today it was, or how sunny and hot it was today. And they spend a long time talking about that, it appears to me, followed by a very brief moment of tomorrow be a bit windy, a bit like today, uh, thank you, good night. That is no way for you as a paragliding pilot to perceive what the weather is going to be like in, say, four or five days' time. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to try, and I've just brought up a synoptic chart here to show you, this is purely what I do. I just look at synoptic charts and I look at the clouds in the sky and that is it. I don't use anything else. I may use a telephone call on the day to ask somebody on the hill what's happening but that's pretty rare. So here, in this area here, that's England and that's where I'm associating my weather. So I haven't picked a flying day, I haven't looked at the charts for a few days, we've had bad weather. Instantly I can see a low pressure over here. Oh, that looks pretty big. It's uh, L for low, it's 953 the pressure. That is very, very low. And obviously it's going anti-clockwise. I dare say that will arrive in about two days time and be at England. So today... Uh, this says here, 6 o'clock this morning, this is an optic chart, this is what it looks like. I've been outside, the wind is actually southeast in Brighton on the seafront. This looks all higgly-piggly, we've got uh, fronts here, yeah, and I'd agree the air and the clouds outside are really show this is a low pressure, and tell me really it's not on, but I dare say somebody will be trying out there to fly. So if I just jump ahead to... Uh, tomorrow six o'clock um, this is six o'clock tomorrow this is southeast of England there's a weather front there's no wind so it's, it might be nice for a walk but flying is not on there's a ridge of high pressure trying to come in I should think with the fronts they're going to muck the air up the wind direction is going to be all over the place I'd go off and do something else go for a mountain bike ride etc so Come midday, the front is still there, um, that's no good, so we're not going to be flying. Saturday, got students booked in Saturday the 29th. Now, there's no weather front, the front's gone away, bit of a high pressure. Front coming in pretty quick. Uh, occluded front, that's uh, isobars, uh, pretty tight. So just down here in this area, I'll zoom in a little bit there. This area here, or southeast of England, is the only area that might be on. Now, what direction will it be? Well, I should think the isobar here is probably southwest. Um, Let's try and see if we can work this out. It's a real mess here. Uh, that line going through there is... Is it connected to this low? I don't think it is, actually. I think it's part of a high-pressure system somewhere. But I, I, I'm going to go for a southwest direction. I think that line, the airflow is coming from here and going that way. That's what I'm reading. Now, that's only a prediction. That's Saturday. Today's Thursday at about... It's uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon, so if I go ahead to Sunday, mm, Sunday here the 30th, isobars close together, those two isobars there equal about 20 odd miles an hour at sea level, so if you go on top of the hill, it will be doing whatever it does with the airflow coming up the hill, mm, maybe giving you 40 odd miles an hour, so yes it's not on. You could possibly go to New Haven Cliffs where it's lower and here you might find you could fly but the direction is wrong. It's going to be a west-southwest I should think there. So we'll go to Monday. 
There we are. This is Monday, low pressures here. Uh, that could well be the low pressure I was on about at the beginning. There's another low pressure on its way. There is a ridge here of high pressure. That will try to come in, that bit there. But this low pressure is moving quick. That one's most probably not going to move out of the way so quickly, but wishes would we'd like it to. And I should think that'll push that high pressure out, and the high pressure won't establish itself. It may come very briefly in the day or night and be gone. So there could be a very short opportunity of flying. But just to give you an idea, if you can remember everything I've just said, if we, um, this is what I our students to look at this one here. This is the Met Office. So the Met Office, um, here we are. they've got Friday northeast 10 miles an hour. So if I was looking at that, I would say, hey, wow, it's on possibly. That could be, but remember, I said Friday's got a front, and I think the air will be all over the place, and it's most probably better to go off for a mountain bike ride. I said Saturday I thought it would be southwest, so they're predicting a west southwest at 13, so could be on. Uh, Sunday they're predicting a southwest, and Monday I said it would be a south, more directions, more southwest, and problem is it's going to be windy. So you can use this, this is pretty accurate for a five day forecast with the Met Office up here. And it's pretty good for gusts, that's what I would ask the customer to look at. If you're looking at what wind speed etc, you want to know what gust is going to be because you don't want to be flying when it's gusty. That's not suitable for paragliding. But for myself, uh, reading the weather, I, I just go here. It's just synoptic charts. Those lines of equal pressure tell me everything I need to know. But above all, and this is the important part, the weather travels from here, down here, southwest, heading off northeast. All our weather travels that way. So I've got this area here, which is three or four days away weather, coming to us. So I've got a prediction of what's likely to happen. Low pressure winds up very tight and goes very quickly that way. High pressures take their time going through and gradually come in and stabilise. And that's great. So this high pressure here just be pushed out of the way by that low pressure. So I could plan in the next few days and say it's not. <laughs> but we've just flown for a couple of weeks, so I'm not too bothered. It's the way it goes with flying. There's nothing more you can do with that. So with regards to flying, learn about synoptic charts and learn how they work. Lines of equal pressure tell you all the information you really need to know for your surface level wind takeoff. Thank <laughs> you.